so are you ready for the next chapter wise question wise with an answers i hope you are ready so here is question number 1 write one property of heterogeneous solution and answer is heterogeneous solutions are unstable and question number 2 which of the method would you use to separate cream from milk so the method is churning next question is what kind of change cooking of food and digestion of food are so cooking of food and digestion of food are chemical changes Question number 4 is, what is the physical state of mercury and bromine? So the answer is, at room temperature, mercury and bromine are in liquid state. What is a mixture? It's very important question. What are its various types? So, let's answer the first fraction of this part in this question. Presence of two or more substances together without being chemically combined. It's very important that the substances should not be com chemically combined if they are combined together that is not mixture they will be called as compound so presence of two or more substances together without being chemically combined is called mixture and now the types of mixtures are homogeneous heterogeneous and colloids next question is define solute and solvent so this was very is uh, very differently i have told in your classroom also solute and solvent just remember that number of uh, letters in the words solute and solvent which have less number and which one have the number of letters more so here the solution solute is it is the material which get dissolved in the solvent the material which get dissolved in the solvent is called solute and the solvent is the substance which dissolves the solute so here one more hint i would like to give you Solute is the matter or material or the substance that is in small quantity and solvent is in large quantity like water and uh, salt. Here the salt is solute and the solvent is the water. Got it? Next question. What is a solution? Write any one property of solution. So uh, let's, have a, let's have the solution first. The homogeneous mixture of two or more substances is called solution. Homogeneous, it should be a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances, then it will be called as solution. Then the property of solution, it doesn't show Tyndall effect. This homogeneous, uh, the, this solution is, which one? That does not show any Tyndall effect. Next question number eight is, differentiate between elements and compounds. Very easy question, but important also. The answer is the purest form of matter is called element purest form remember it or the matter which is made of one type of particles only that also may be a uh, definition of element now when two or more elements combine together chemically so they form a compound or the formed com matter will be called as compound what is a colloid and what are its two properties colloid Colloids are stable heterogeneous solution. Stable, that's it. the term is stable. Stable heterogeneous solutions are called colloids. Colloids show Tyndall effect and zigzag motion. And the last question is, a solution contains 60 gram of sodium chloride and 400 gram of water. Calculate the concentration in terms of mass by mass percentage of the solution. So mass by mass means first the mass of NaCl and then the mass of water into 100. Then we will be getting the mass percentage so 60 divided by 460 and into 100 it will get 13 percent 